Hello everyone, welcome to another Rick's Picks. Today I'm going to be doing my review of Toxy from the Toxic Crusaders line by Super 7. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a look at him in packaging. I'm going to take a look at the figure and his accessories. And then I'm going to give you my thoughts on them. And just to let you know, this week I'm also doing reviews on Junkyard and the Radiation Ranger. So go ahead and check out those videos as well. And if you like these videos... Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It's a small click for you, but it would really help this channel grow. So, without any further ado, let's get to the review. Alright, so here he is in packaging. I love the packaging for these figures. It's really bright, very vibrant. You know, the Toxic Crusaders logo just pops out at you. I just love the whole look to it. As, as seen on screen, Super 7 logo, age restrictions... All right, let's give it the rotation. Okay. All right. And then on the top, you got the Ultimates logo. Pop them open. Oops. Sometimes you see it. There we go. All right. So there you got this nice open clamshell where you can see the figure, all his accessories. Got the Toxic Crusade logo here. His name, Super 7, age restrictions. All right, spin it around to the back. You got your hazmat diamond with the Toxic Crusade logo. Let you know what's inside of it. Okay. All right. So on your top, you got the Toxic Crusade logo. And on your bottom, you got your legal and skew. So... With all that being said, let's open him up and see what he's about. So before we start this review, I want to tell you all about a little independent film that's going to be debuting at the end of this month. It's called My Ninja. It's the meme that became a movie. And it's going to be debuting on July 30th at 6 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time on the humongous 420 YouTube channel. And it's written, directed, edited and arranged by Byron Bassett. And it's brought to you by Jump the Shark, Animimi Studios, and Shit Shack Productions. With voice talents from Chris Fairley, AKA Black Man, Byron Bassett, Gail Kahn, uh, Red Eye Reviews, and also Buff Pro. Special guests include John Migolo, Humongous Fungus of Urungus, Psycho Destructo, Kenny Blankenship, and many more. This is the only movie where the extended credits and blooper scenes is longer than the movie itself. Now, this is a story of one man with the wrong hands who is inadvertently trying to settle a longtime family dispute once and for all. And just remember, support your local ninja union and also Ninja Mart. Chop smart. Shop Ninja Mart. So I hope you all join us for this film. Uh, I'm going to put all the links you're going to need in the description, such as, you know, merchandise, how to support the channel, the channel itself, and also the two trailers for the movie. So back to the review. All right, so here he is out of packaging. And right off the bat, I just love the color to him. I love all the color, the detail. He really pops out at you. I mean, let's give him the rotation. He definitely put some work in the details in him with like the different color spots on his skin, the way how his tutu is set up, his jeans, you know, the whole nine yards. It's really cool how he looks. These colors pop at you, you know, like if you see him on a shelf, he just pops at you. I love it. it you know, there obviously was a attention to detail put to this figure. So let's start going through some of his points of articulation. So his head does spin. He has a shoulder joint, a bicep joint, an elbow joint, and a wrist joint. All right, I believe he does have a torso joint. Uh, yes, he does. So there's a torso joint, and there's also a joint right under the rib cage. 
He has a thigh joint, a knee joint, and he also has an ankle joint and a swivel right here at the top of the bandages. So he's very articulated, which is really nice. And as you notice, he doesn't really need a stand to, to stand with. Um, he's pretty sturdy, so that's pretty good as well. So, you know, I didn't have to um, give him either a peg stand or a waist stand. You know, he just stands on his own. So that's a plus. So that means he's a well-balanced figure. So let's start going through some of the stuff he comes with. First off, he comes with the iconic mop. Okay. He also comes with a shield. All right. He comes with these little toxic grenades. He comes with three of these. All right. All right. He also comes with this head. Looks a little bit more mutated. Almost looks a little bit more like how the movie sculpt was. Because of how the eye pops and what have you. Alright. He has the head here with the bandana. Alright. He also comes with the little mop head monster. I forget what his name is, but he was a cool little creature. Alright. Uh, the American flag, so you can hook that up onto your mop stick, which is cool. And he comes with four different types of hands. So he comes with two open, so here's one open hand. Two open hands, alright. A closed fist. And another closed fist. Alright. So let's see how well some of this stuff works with them. First, let's try the shield. All right. Uh, the hands are a little bit of a hard rubber. All right. So the shield pops in very nicely. No issues with it. All right. So as you can see, he can stand there with the shield. All right. Let's see how well the mop works. All right. So his iconic mop. Fits in really nice. Alright. And. Now then. Once again. To speak about the balance of this figure. As you see he stands with no problem. This mop is a little top heavy. So. It's really cool that. Even though the mop is a little bit top heavy. You can still get him to stand sturdy. With the mop in his hand. So that's pretty cool. Because sometimes when a figure has like. A weapon, whether it be like, let's say, a mace or an axe or something that's a little bit top-heavy. You know, they tend to lean forward. So, he stands very sturdy with this. So, I I'm kind of impressed by that. And, of course, you can hook Old Glory right here. So, now he can have the American flag hanging off of that. Alright. So, let's pop this out of his hand. He has these little flash grenades here, or toxic grenades. All right, as you can see, it fits easily in his hand. Now, these are kind of cool because if you want, the way how... Oops. Just get him in position here. All right, now he's going to make a liar out of me. Okay, so see how it has these little, you know, cuffs there? You can just easily fit them onto his belt here. You know, wherever you want to put them. So, like, if you want to set one out know, here... You know, here, or even if you just want to pull them onto the back, so it'll fit just as easily on the back as well. So that means you can have these old grenade things on them, so you can have them on this person. So that's a pretty cool feature. Uh, the little mop dude, you know, he can fit right here on his shoulder. Pop. All right. So the little mop guy fits right there so it can hang on his shoulder. And now, get the mop out of his hand. He has a little spot right here. And you can just take the mop, work it right on through, and it fits really nicely on his back. So everything fits nicely. Once again, have no issues with him standing. He feels pretty well balanced. So let's see how well his head swaps go. All right, so we're going to get the iconic bandana head. All right, pops on really well. No issues with that. Let's see how easily his hands swap. Oops, 
taking them off. But let's get a closed fist hand. Boom. So as you see, all his accessories interchange with him very well. He's very well balanced. You know, even with the mop on the, his back, he can still stand pretty straight. And he's going to make it. Yeah. So, you know, with weight all over the place, he stands pretty well. So overall, I love this figure. I think he's a great figure. If you're a fan of the Toxic Avenger movie or the old Toxic Crusaders cartoon, I would highly recommend this figure. He's really cool. He really pops out yeah, at you. He has a very good sense of presence. So overall, yeah, I would definitely recommend this figure for you. And just remember, if you did like this video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. It's a small click for you, but it really helps this channel grow. So until the next one, late. Hey, are you going to be in the Philadelphia area between September 9th and 10th? If so, check out RetroCon. It's affordable. They have lots of great vendors. There's going to be cosplay competitions, celebrities, and much, much more. So go ahead and check out the link in the description. And also, Samuel J. Jones is going to be there, better known as Flash Gordon. So check it out. Greg Evigan will be there, best known for BJ and the Bear, My Two Dads, and Tech Wars. Voice actress Kathy Garver will be there, the one and only Firestar from Spider-Man and his amazing friends. RetroCon has been taken over by the Dukes, so we got Tom Walpad, John Snyder, and Kathy Batch, Luke, Bo, and Daisy, alongside with the Jersey General, representing the Dukes of Hazards. Yeehaw! Next on our list, all the way from Cybertron... The hit rock band Cybertronic Spree. And check this out. The rare Hasbro Proton Pack as a raffle prize. Now you can't beat that. 